Oh. Hi, it's Liz again. Um, okay, by request, we'll see if this works this time. Um, I was asked to kind of do a video to show how I got this effect, which was a web effect paint ejection. This is my rock that I had done about a week ago, and this is the um, web effect in paint injection that I had done and this is with um, it's dry now and it's got two coats of DuraClear and I'm gonna see about having show-and-tell um, bump my table but you can still see everything um, I'm doing different colors tonight hopefully they work out um, it's doing milk paint I'm gonna do uh, 24 karat gold uh, Liquitex uh, Magenta and then Mars Black and then the milk paint is one part milk paint one part white paint and this time I think it's the um, Deco Art Titanium White and then two parts Floetrol and just a little bit of water to thin it and then not everybody can get a syringe or you can go to the local vet supply place but they also have these little uh, bottles, uh, Fab Lab for, for like five bucks or so at Joann's. Um, so I'm using that tonight. Um, and it's this one was a flip cup, so that's what I'm doing again tonight. My flip cup is a bottle cap. There's actually a formula to figure out how much paint you need for your surface area, in which case it's not very much because it's a rock, of course. So I've got my paint mixed up with Floetrol, so it's pretty thin and probably not even as thin as it probably should be. Um, it's Floetrol and then just a little bit of water and it's thickened up a little bit while I sat here. So I'm going to put gold first, then black, and then the magenta. So. Um, you know, your guess is as good as mine on, um, how it's gonna work out. So, gold, then black, which seems to be flowing a little better than the magenta. And I don't want too much because I need enough for... Um, to allow for the white also. So this little cap holds about a teaspoon and the rock needs about a teaspoon of paint. But I need, again, I need to allow for the white. So, all right, that's what I'm going to put in for my flip cup. Um, I have my milk paint mixed up in here. So I'm gonna put a little um, I'm just thinking it's hard to think. Yep, I'm gonna um, sorry I'm off camera I think. Flip cup it put my paint around the edge oh eBay okay I'm just living on the wild side here with my um, naked hands. Then you take your little injector or needle or whatever and you can still go around the edge again a little bit. And then you inject in a 
I like the gold. And might have too much paint, but we'll see. Then kind of rotate the rock a little like you would if it were a canvas. I'm going to just put my finger here because I really don't want to lose lose it off the sides and do a little tilting you know other people would wear gloves when I first started all this rock painting stuff I was always wearing gloves and now I'm just a maniac I may need to maybe I need to object it a little more but um, I didn't Trying to keep it centered, but let it sit for a sec here. Kind of feel like I want to inject a little more over here. Helping the paint along a little there, and don't want to sit a rock on that spot because that's kind of pretty right there where that is. I'm going to let that sit for a sec and see what, hopefully that's still centered. I don't want to lose that thing because I like the way that looks. So things are kind of uh, selling up over here. I am going to torch this again in just a second here. <clears throat> I kind of like uh, how it's looking rosy. I wasn't sure how this was going to look. It looks like, you know, part of my gold. I lost part of my gold. Uh, well, that's, I've got some pretty cells over here on the side. Well, that's still doing its thing. I have some of my little stones that I um, got at uh, Home Depot, nice and flat. And I've been enjoying these for dips. So I'm just looking at seeing What might be for what here? Hmm. So. Let's see what happens here. And sometimes it's nice when you do them with the, um, parchment paper because you can also lift the paper up to the stone. Sorry, I'm a little off. So, so that's a dip. 
I'm going to set that one down. I'm going to torch this. Yep, I've gotten far more use out of this for my rocks than anything else. And uh, so I'll write down um, the paints and um, anything else I can think of. And uh, once it's dry, I'll also post a picture. But hey, I'm kind of liking that rock. Okay, that's my story.